Hello and welcome to 3 cnc In this video I'll show you my latest project which is called the Microtrack RC and as the name suggests and as you can see is this tiny track vehicle that is designed to be just a small farm project that requires very cheap readily available electronics. The Microtrack RC project is available on PCBWay's project community where makers and engineers can share and showcase their designs exchanged feedback and spark new collaborations and this video is also sponsored by PCBWay so later on I will show you how you can upload or import your models to PCBWay as well and get a 10% commission if someone purchases your design from PCBWay so now let's get on with the video and I'll show you how this project goes together and of course some more videos of it in action as well and I also just want to mention that I'm really excited to be trying this in the snow in a few months, so stay tuned for that as well. So, as you can see, we have all the parts laid out here. I have some sections already assembled because there are a lot of similarities between the left and the right side. It's pretty much just mirrored everything, so we'll build one of the assemblies and then just put on the other one on the other side. So, if we start, with the frame we see the heat set inserts because this is something you might open a few times and this is a lot more durable but there is also a, a version where it just goes directly into the plastic like some of the other parts where you put it on once and then just leave it there are also heat set inserts in the idler braces that go on the inside right here for the adjustment of the track tensioning but you could technically just use uh, nuts and washers on the inside and not having to use any heat set inserts at all. So what we'll start with is installing these bearings for the drive axle. These are 10 by 15 by 4 bearings and they go just in the frame in the rear right here. And we'll also go ahead and install the two additional ones in the axle braces right here. After that we go ahead and install these geared motors. They go in the same place where we just installed the bearings with two M3 by 30 countersunk bolts and they just go into this plastic part that is the motor mount that goes on the other side. So the bolts go through the gearbox and into this part and that works as Loctite as well. Unfortunately I don't have countersunk bolts at the moment so these will have to work for now. Now we'll set this to the side and go ahead and assemble the drive sprocket with the drive axle. So this just slots into this hole right here. And then with two countersunk M3 by 6 bolts, this just screw together into the plastic of the sprocket. And as I said, I already prepared one of them. So this is slot onto the axles and into the bearings. Just like that. And then we'll go ahead and install the drive axle braces right there on the outside with two M3 by 10 millimeter bolts and the bearings we already installed in these. Just like that and go ahead and check there's no binding or anything. 
now it's time to install the battery mount and there's also a different version of this in case you have a wider battery uh, it's slightly shorter but pretty much the same and about 10 millimeters wider so you lose some space for the other electronics but uh, not that much really so for this the cables for the motors go in these holes right here so it's a lot easier if you have uh, wires with connectors on them otherwise you could uh, probably just cut these off these are for uh, making sure this doesn't slide forward but it's not really not really that fast or you won't really have those those forces i don't think so this just slides down on the slots on the side right here and around that center heatset in the back and make sure the wires get in those cutouts right there To assemble the idlers you need the 17 by 26 by 5 millimeter bearing that just goes into the idler just like this then there's the bearing mount that goes on top and that secures with uh, three m2 by 6 self-tapping screws This assembly then just slots on the idler tensioner and the cap goes on top of that and then you can use two countersunk bolts either M3 by 30 or 25 both of them work and they go through this entire assembly. And the idler tensioners then just slot into the frame right here for tensioning the track with one of the idler braces on the inside with the smaller part facing forward. And you can just push these all the way in right now, so it's easier to put on the belts later on. So now it's time to install these glide plates that go on the underside of the frame that the track slides on. And for that I use these PTFE tubes from the 3D printers with a 4mm outside diameter. And you cut these 133 millimeters long, and then these just clip into the slots on these glide plates. And these are really good because they won't wear down and there's not a lot of friction as well. And make sure it's flush against the top right here, where it will sit flush under the frame. like that and if needed you can of course cut off the axis above right here. These glide plates then attach on the underside of the frame with 5 M3 by 12 countersunk bolts that just go straight into the frame just like this on either side.
so now we are on the PCB way project community and we can go to create a project here in the top right corner here we can see we can create a PCB project and that you will get a 10% commission if someone buys your design from PCB way but what we'll do is go to the CNC and printing project tab and you can see you still get a 10% commission if someone buys your design what we'll do is go to the Thingiverse import here we will put our Thingiverse link to our account just like so, copy this link and then open Thingiverse and go ahead and put this link right here to verify our account go back and then just hit the verify right here now that the account is verified we can select which models we want to import right here And when you have selected all your designs, you just go ahead and select import right here. And as you can see right here, our designs are actually importing. You can see they are under review, but they all have actually shown up here, so the import is working. You can of course also go to create a project and create the projects from scratch. So either a PCB project or a CNC or 3D printing project and you just enter the usual things like the title, category or and something to describe your project and then just upload the files. Uh, but of course if you want to publish it on many different platforms you can do the actual publish first on Thingiverse and then just import uh, again your project to PCB way. And now we're almost done so it's just time to plug in the electronics and it's a good idea to start it up and make sure the right track is on the right side and turns in the right direction and make sure all that works before putting the lid on. When you have organized the cables a bit it's time to put the lid on with 8 M3 by 6 countersunk bolts. Just like this and into the heatset inserts or if you have the frame without the heatset inserts. Now for the final part, the tracks that are already put together, I just use 1.75mm filament between either of the track sections and use some plies to just push it through. Uh, it's a bit time consuming but really not that difficult. So there are 22 track sections on either side, so 44 in total. And then putting on the tracks, as I said before, just push the tensioning all the way in. Make sure the sprockets go into the track in the correct way. And use your final piece of filament that I usually leave a bit longer so it's easier to disassemble the track if needed. Just like that, and then the same on the other side. Like that, and now tensioning the tracks, you just undo these bolts a bit. And then push the track tensioning forward. And tighten these back up.
now for the hatch there are two different variants one like this for button head or socket head cap screws and then there's one for countersunk screws as well because all the other parts are with countersunk screws but i think these are a bit better for uh, uninstalling and installing again multiple times a bit harder to strip out so let's just go ahead install the battery right here connect it up Try to get all the cables in here and then just slide on the hatch and screw it down. Like that and it's done.